We're back. We we actually back though. You know what I'm saying? Bizak. You know what I'm saying? Guess who's but that? Uh, Ralphie May, politically correct. Y'all ran it up ridiculous last time. What are we doing this time? Give us woman? 4K on this bad boy. For that, wow, we could do that. Wow, wow, you heard wow. the lady. Let's get it. That's my man, 50 Cent. I love 50 Cent, the rap rapper. It's rap. not the best quality at all. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's my man, 50 Cent. I love 50 Cent, the rap rapper. I think he's awesome. I've been knowing that son bitch for a long time. I knew that motherfucker when he was three, four dollars. He's my man, you know what I'm saying? For real, that's from the heart. Do you hear What'd you say? Three for a dollar. Definitely three for a dollar. I got a lot of flavor for a white boy. That's why they put me on the show. Um, I got a lot of flavor for a white boy. It's because I'm from the South. And I mean, I'm real Southern. I mean, I'm real Southern. I was born in Tennessee, raised in Arkansas, moved to Texas when I was 18. Shit, I'm my own cousin. <laughs> <laughs> but unlike a lot of white folks in the South who won't admit it, though, I'll tell you the truth. I got some black blood in me. What's up? Woo. Yeah, I wish I got that big dick. That'd have been cool, you heard? Cool. Yeah, instead I got bad credit. Ain't that a bitch? That's how I got <laughs> He didn't even get the privilege of the white. He just said, I just got it. That's a bad side of it all. God Yo. dang. My boy, wow. <laughs> yeah, instead, I got bad credit. Ain't that a bitch? That's how it goes. That's how it goes. It's either big dick or bad credit every time. That and a couple of sickle cells is about all I got. Yeah, I didn't get the magic stick. Yeah. I can hit it once, I can't hit it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Right. <laughs> I'm not politically correct. I think politically correct is bullshit. You know, I think everybody's a blank American now. It's fucked up. You know, I'm just correct. That's how I'm going to be. I'm going to keep it real. I promise you I'm going to be correct, okay? That's a promise you don't get from everybody. Because we're losing words, like midget. You can't say midget no more. People ain't midgets. They're dwarfs. They're little people. What the fuck? No, you a midget. What the fuck is wrong with that? Isn't it cute? Like, you look at the little midget. That's a nice little ass midget. Look at that midget just walking around with little stumpy ass fingers. I love that dude. You don't mean it bad. What the got little people? What the fuck? That's okay. So, or dwarf? What the fuck? Are you with some hobbits and gonna drop a ring into a volcano? What the fuck are you talking about? The midgets are pissed. They ain't having it. They've had it up to here with that bullshit. For real. <laughs> and you can't say retard anymore. They aren't retarded. They're mentally challenged Americans. What the fuck is that? No, they were. It's like. <laughs> it's like. This is like the vulgar version of George Carlin's uh, soft language. Right. <laughs> Mentally challenged Americans. What the fuck is that? <laughs> no, they're retarded. <laughs> no. They're mentally challenged Americans. They can't fucking say they're mentally challenged Americans. Because they're fucking tards. That's a lot of syllables to string together, okay? <laughs> That's a lot for them to get. I mean, they'll get about halfway through that, then drift off into some other shit. Because they're retarded. They're like, uh, I'm mentally challenged. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I like chocolate milk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're fucking retarded. Hey, look, hey, if they can say they're mentally challenged American, then you're right. They're not retarded. They're Korean, and they're fucking with you. <laughs> 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 Yo, that camera pan was crazy. <laughs> Why did they just go to the Asian people? Straight the to them. Yo, uh -uh. nah, they wild. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
And if it got a thermos with chocolate milk, that motherfucker hit the lottery. Yes, sir. <laughs> Think about your life. You need a new car every couple of years, don't you? Big, nice car. That's what you need. An Escalade or some shit. I got a Lexus because I'm in a competition with my brother. I'm not happy. Retard don't need a new car. He's got a bus that'll come and pick his ass up any time he fucking wants. Yeah. All he's got to remember is helmet on. The biggest one is African-American. What the fuck? African-American. That shit came around in 92. What the fuck happened to black folks? Right. That was the year I was born. Just <laughs> say, hold on, we gonna switch it up. Hold that on. shit came around in 92. What the fuck happened to black folks? Right. African-American. What the fuck? We, we, that room full of black people. Any of y'all been to Africa? Oh, one lady over there. Okay, Kumbale. Why? I mean, you want to name black folks at some place they've been, but name it, you know, like Crenshaw Americans or Swap yeah. yeah, Meat Americans, <laughs> Vietnamese Nail Salon Americans, some place black folks have been, shit. And I feel bad for black folks because it's been a tough year to be black. Y'all had that sniper shit, ooh. Yo, the DC sniper was wild, son. That was a wild time in America for sure. Mm-hmm. That was wacky. Hold on. It's tough year to be black. Y'all had that sniper shit. Ooh. Ooh. That was some embarrassing shit that day, wasn't it? I gotta be honest with you. When I heard he was black and Muslim, I was like, get the fuck out of here. That's the greatest day of all time. Because they had crazy white dudes written all over right. that shit. Right. <laughs> then y'all think it was some crazy ass mullet from West Virginia drove his truck over right. there and started shooting up people. Oh, Make NASCAR year long. <laughs> Bring back people. <laughs> white people love that shit. Stupid. Uh-uh, he was black. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> How the fuck does that feel? Look at that. What you said? <laughs> Family though, black family should have seen that shit coming. Think about it. Black and Muslim, that means you gotta give up weed and white women. Well, you knew somebody was gonna get shot. Brother can't go and get off white pussy that easy. Hard to break. Wait, what did he say? Brother can't go and get off white pussy that easy. I thought he said OJ. I was about to be like, damn, yo. Get shot. I can't go and get off white pussy that easy. That's fucking hard to break. That shit's like kryptonite to the average brother, right, sister? That white pussy get a hold of a brother. He'll be wondering who the fuck's gonna turn his cell phone back on. Yo, why is her face so cracked? Look at her. (laughs) And then his ass. Cause he gave you no break. He's just straight set up. That's kind of exploded. Okay, whatever. <laughs> that is a genre. That's a genre of black men, though. I don't know why, but there is a genre of niggas who just love fat white women. I don't know why, bruh, but you see them at Walmart all the time. Just go to Walmart and you'll and it's crazy, bruh, because they know. It always be like the decent looking black dude too. And it's like, not like, oh, he just found the the fat girl that was pretty. She ugly too. And then he go, and then when they lock eyes with you, you walk in, and then they see you, and they look at you, and they and, and then they just got like this look of disappointment. Like, I know, bro. <laughs> it be the face 
a defeat. I don't know why. But, yeah, I got friends, bro. I got friends, and that's exclusively what they like. I don't know why, but they like them a little extra with the extra. <laughs> they do. My bu- Wally. Shout out to Wally, bro. Wally, the Quan in the trap. My boy, he said it's so he can rest his forehead. He like it. He be loving them I mean, 400 plus. He like that. A little extra comfort. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And Wally not like an ugly nigga, you know? He just like him a little extra cushion for the pushing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't lying. Sometimes black people get mad at me because I be talking about them. You know, but you know, you know who really can take a joke anytime? Mexicans. Mexicans, y'all always take a joke. I mean, always take a joke. As long as it's true, they don't give a shit. I can say some fucked up shit about Mexicans. As long as it was true, it'd be like, fuck it, you're right. <laughs> like, I mean, seriously, I can say, right now, I can say some messed up shit about Mexicans. As long as it was true, the worst thing that happened in here is, eat. That's fucked up. <laughs> The cameras, yo, they are right. Like, what's the best Mexican wedding present? Shoes for a two-year-old. Oh, and Mexicans, don't get mad, goddammit. I see you back there. Don't get fucking pissed off. Please, I'm the only one who's been to a quinceanera slash baby shower in his fucking life. Shut the fuck up. I know there's a couple white people here mad at me. Oh, oh, that is comedy. He said, like, I'm not the only person that's been to a quinceanera and a baby shower. Bruh. (laughs) Yo, that's a bar. (laughs) Oh, my God. Drop a like. Run it up. We here. Road to 30,000. Let's get it. 